Um, unsolicited invoices and fake charges. I mean, it's really hard to believe that you would pay an invoice for something you didn't get. Uh, but people do it all the time. So an invoice comes in the mail. The ones that we've heard recently have been uh, for home products, uh, light bulbs, that sort of stuff. And people just pay them thinking that, well, I guess they must owe them. Um, the other thing around that too is where you take on a, um, a an agreed to payment out of your bank account. For example, a lot of people were getting these small checks for about five or six dollars and it would just come in and they just quickly sign it and put it into their bank account. And if you actually looked at the light gray printing in the six point type on the back of the check, it said, when I endorse this check, I'm agreeing to have, and it might be 29.95 or it might be as much as $200, be taken out of my bank account every month. Now it becomes really difficult to break that because sometimes the banks won't even stop that payment on your behalf because they, they have uh, an, a, a contract that's in the bank. So it, you have to spend some time, you have to send notification to the company to say that you know, you're not going to continue with whatever that is. This was used, I thought the most interesting thing was it was used primarily for credit card protection. Uh, packages. So it was like a type of insurance and so they'd send you this five or ten dollars up front as an incentive to start paying thirty dollars a month to protect anybody from stealing your money while they were stealing your money.